Hello Gundam fans, my name is Yu Yu Hayo, and welcome to my review of the Cosmo Fleet Special by Mega House, Musai Class, Valkyrie. Now the Valkyrie is from the anime Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin, but first, before we take a look at the model, we are going to take a look at the box. So here is the box. It is a very large box compared to the other ones. This one is about double the size. It's very, it's a very nice one though, so it's, you got a nice frontal image here of the Musai Valkyrie. You got the text, and here is Valkyrie, Principality of Zeon, Dozel's Custom Musai Class Fleet Command Ship. You got a side view of the box. In the back view of the box, we got a nice side image of the Musai, got displays of the articulation of the main cannons, we've got a back view, bottom view of the Musai, we've got a precursor to the uh, options for the Ko-Musai, and we sh shows off that we can detach the Ko-Musai from the Musai. And the top view of the top of the box, And the bottom of the box. They had a lot of room to put lots of images on this box. So, that's in for the box. And now we'll get back to the model. Alright, so back to the model. The model, you would think, when looking at it online, you wouldn't think it would be, you know, huge or anything. But, comparing it, it seeing it in person, and comparing it to the other models of the Cosmo Fleet Special line, this thing is a beast. Comparatively, this thing is just massive. And here it is next to. This is the Nahel Argama, which is by no means of the line a small ship. This thing dwarfs it by comparison. Even from like the side view, it's just a massive sized ship. Just. I know that in all of the Cosmo Fleet specials, all are around six to six and a half inches long. So this one, you know, is the same length as this one. It's they're no different in length, but in terms of width, it just dwarfs all the other models. It's a huge model, and it's tall. It's it takes up a lot of room on your shelf. So, if you're going to buy this one, make sure that you got a space for it. So, anyway, on to what to talk about the model. The model does have a few parts, like mainly the fins here at the top and bottom of the Komusai, and the fins here on the back engines that need to be built. So, I mean, you do have some construction or, you know, to come with this thing, but it's not much. This is it, pretty much. Two plates. You know, one, two, three, four wings per plate. You know, one for the Komusai, and one for the larger and the smaller wings for the back engines on the Musai. That's pretty much it. It also comes with, like I said, the small little doors. And these come off with the Komusai, but we will talk about that later. And it comes with four little figurines, which are actually this time are accurately sized for this model. These are focus. These are actually the right size for this model. For the for once the model the little mobile suit models that come with the the ship are actually the right size. But that's because they have to fit in the combo side which can actually do its job. So Onto the model. The model has, let's see, one, one, two, three, four, five, six points of articulation, and then they have six more hidden ones. These little pieces right here all articulate, believe it or not. I have no idea what their purpose is or what in the show they serve as, because the Valkyrie does not make much of an appearance on the show for very long in the beginning. But hopefully we'll see more of it later on. 
and each turret itself like I said is uh, articulated so you can turn those around and then there are two here at the bottom which are articulated and then there's one here at the very back You see the hangar doors from here. You've got nice color in the engines. The engines are actually metallic gray on the inside, as opposed to everything else, which is a green color. And you got some what looks like might be like rear machine guns on it. Focus. Focus here. There we go. And we got the docking ports. For, you know transferring supplies you've got little vents here at the side focus there we go here at the side which you know are on every musai and we got these little I'm not sure what these are they look like either like headlights or either a missile launcher but I'm not sure which because they don't sh display those in the show very much. And I don't see any missile silos coming out of this thing. And it's got three bridges, which are all painted nicely. There's one, and then there's two, and then there's three. The only issue with this model I actually have is the fact that this bridge is very clearly two pieces wedged together and um, pasted on top of each other. In fact, that's where all goes for all the bridges. They're all pretty much like separate pieces and then they're like stacked on top of each other. But it's forgivable. The only issue is that this one's, you know, we've got a clear like seam across it, which, you know, considering everything else, I can forgive it. Now the Komusai, I guess I should show off now, which does come out. And there in the coma site, as usual, is upside down when docked with it. And here it is in its flight. You've got like the little hanger doors, which right here, which you know, you can stick like your finger in and pull out so that, that comes out. And then these go in. These go in. There we go. So those go in, and then you can put your one of your little uh, zakus in there, and they, it's got a little peg there, and then there's a little spot here, the back of each zaku. Right. Well, there's a little like spot here at the like legs base of the zaku, which you know fits right over it. So then you can have your little Zaku in there and take open the doors. You can take out that part and you can put in this part back again. So where was I? Now the Kogun side does have details picked out here for engine thrusters which are metallic and do share a different color from the rest of it. There is no picking out of the cockpit. Focus. Focus. There we go. You can see here, there is no picking out of colors for the cockpit on the Komu side. So, I mean, if you wanted to either take a black Sharpie or, not a Sharpie, but a black Gundam marker and mark those up. Or use some yellow paint and pick those out. It's doable, but... It's not picked out on the model, as is. I mean, it's got lots of nice detail and lines on it. And like I said, these four wings do need to be put on. Luckily, each wing itself has different pegs. So there's like one peg on like this side, and then there's two pegs on this side, so that you can't get them mixed up and have them put in the wrong place. And that's the same for the top and the bottom. Same goes for the moose side itself on the engines. And inside, moose side... There is actually detail picked out. So, it is not just a big um, piece of plastic. You can actually see what looks like an entrance there for, like, the, the 
entrance of the pilots in the you know, to the Komusai. Now I will admit, holding this thing is a lot trickier than any of the other models, but you know, like it's a model, so you're supposed to display it. But it's got lots of delicate pieces on it and lots of little how do I say, uh just very spiky bits that could easily break. You know, like the back here. And the, especially these little pieces right here. These are very thin and be very easy to break. Um, besides that, it's a very nice model and you can, it's got lots of detail, it's got good picked out lines, and the only other thing to talk about really for it is that for display options you get either the normal black display or you get, you know, you can, if you have your own, you can pop this part out right here. And then you can peg in your own display if you want to give it a more dynamic sort of pose. It's very easy to put it back in. Looks like it was never there. Now for comparison, since this is like the only Musai that we've gotten up to now, except for the other one that the Cosmo Fleet ha has given us, the Pure Gent, or which comes with the Cosmo Fleet line of a box set, which you have to either have to get lucky and it's find on like in a single box, in a mystery box, or you have to buy the whole set. Focus. There we go. So the Pure Gent, which is a late class Musai from the Stardust Memory series, is much different, It's about, but it's the same size, and as you can see, I mean, roughly this is about the size that this should be if you were to compare it to, like, the other models in this franchise, or at least, like, if you were to compare it to, say, the Raw Kylum. All in all, I would say this is a good model of a Musai, especially since we've never gotten one. This one is a very badass Musai, especially being that it's Dozel's personal Musai. Would I recommend this to a Gundam fan? Yes, I would. Would I recommend this to a casual ship collector? No, no I can't say that because, it, again, it is very expensive for what it is. It is a very large model compared to the other ones, but it is not, like, it doesn't feel solid and heavy. It is definitely, like, there are lots of pieces wedged together, like this whole part here is one's wedge piece, piece wedged together. These are separate and glued on. These are separate. It's very light for how big it is. It, unlike the, uh, Nihal Agama, which is very much, like, solid pieces of, like, carved plastic that are glued together. So, in conclusion, it's a great model. I recommend it to... Many people, if you are a diehard Gundam fan, or if you just need to have a Musai for your collection. Otherwise, I'd say you can skip on this one. It's not too big, because next time, next month, we in March, we have the Argama coming out, and that is something you can't pass up on. Thanks, Gundam fans. I'll see you around. Over and out.